This is a global tail link prepaid call from Archuleta, an offender at Mabel Bassett Correctional Center. Thank you for using global tail link. Hello. Hi, sweetie. Hi, mom. How are you? I'm okay. What have you been doing today? I got your uh, pictures together and your um, cologne papers. And put them okay. in uh, an envelope to mail out tomorrow morning. Oh, and that's another thing. They're doing candy bags tomorrow. They're having a little Halloween thing or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and buy some bags, and I'm going to make the boys something again <laughs> for Halloween. And this time I'll be able to get it to them by Halloween. Because I really miss the boys. Hey, guys. It's me, Chloe. Um, I got you some more books that I picked out because they looked really cool and they looked like they would be fun to read. Um, I think I'm going to start with the T-Rex one because it's so fun and then we'll do the Avengers next. Yeah, so here we go. From the tip of my tail to the top of my snout, there's just no doubt. I'm a T-Rex. Look how crazy he looks. So can you believe I started out small? Just an egg in a nest. I roar and I romp. I growl and I stomp. I'm a T-Rex. Hmm. There's a picture of Chloe and one of her good friends on the left. They both have green eyes. <laughs> This was one year at Christmas that we got her a flip phone. <laughs> so, you know, it's like far away, far back. <laughs> she was pretty ecstatic. That's her there. <laughs> she makes some pretty cute faces. <laughs> They're just so pretty. She's just always been pretty. She said, Mom, can I talk to you? I'm like, uh-oh. Mom, you better stay sitting down. I'm like, why? And she said, I'm having twins. And I tell her, you know, not to worry when you have them because it's going to be scary and you're not going to know what really what to do. I said, but you do realize I'm here after she would have the boys, then I, I'd tell her a little bit more. So, but that didn't get to happen too much. I remember holding them both and really just having to have them in my sight at all times. I struggled a lot. I don't want them to have to go through the things that I went through whenever I was young and brought into the world. My mom told me everything that my dad did to her and why the divorce, and I grew up really conflicted about that. She didn't even know what happened because she was still a baby. Later on, I showed her the pictures from when I had them taken, and it was bruises and everything all over me bleeding profusely, split lip and everything. She just nodded and gave me a hug and she said she understood. I could just tell the signs, like her closing off. Every time the crib was in their bedroom, she'd wake up to check on the boys and they weren't there. He had them out in the living room because he didn't want to hear them crying. I try telling you. I know. Soda is so bad. So bad. I know it is, but I like it so much. It keeps me awake. <laughs> oh, no. 
button has 60 seconds remaining. Ah, wow. Okay. I'm okay. so weak. You're strong, and I know you can. And it's for the better. Okay. No pressure. Or I know. But Jeez. all pressure, really. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I had made a plan to leave him about a week before they had their first checkup. I had noticed that Curtis had something a little red on his leg and I didn't know where it came from. So I asked the doctor and she said, get to the emergency room. You know, at that point, like the whole floor fell out from underneath me. His leg has been fractured and he had hairline fractures of skull. After they learned of his injuries, they sent a police dispatch. I didn't sleep, I barely ate. I had a bacterial infection from my cesarean section. At that point in time, I was still wondering what was going on with my son. Being a woman here, it's really, it's really scary to be a woman in Oklahoma. I just, part of me died. I thought I was never going to see my girl again. And I just thought, why, God, why? I didn't understand it, I still don't, but <sighs> she don't belong there. She never should have been there. So I really like those books. I hope both of you guys like those books too. Um, I'm really, really proud of you guys for being awesome in the first grade. Um, yeah, you guys are just so cool, and I'm happy that you guys are reading these books with me. Thank you so much. I love you, and you're doing such a great job being cool and amazing. Be good. Bye. You have 30 seconds remaining. Oh, no. I hate that. Well... I'm going to call you later on this week. Okay, sweetie. I love you with all my heart. I love you with all my heart.